What is up guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another, and I'm telling you guys, this is going to be a good one. This, I don't want to jinx myself, but it should be a good one. I'm here today. I'm meeting up with my buddy Ryan, obviously. His channel is going to be linked down below. His Instagram will be linked down below. Uh, we fished together, and the last time we fished together, he put me on my PB largemouth and about seven more five pounders in the same day. So what we're going to be doing today is we're actually going to be going down further south and we're gonna be fishing for peacock bass and Midas cichlids. And if you have never seen either of the two, I'll put a picture of both of them right here. Pretty cool looking fish, right? So I'm hoping, I don't even care if they're big. Uh, well, the cichlids aren't big anyways, but uh, they're like hand size, a little bigger than your hand, I guess. That's, that's you know, they may be bigger than that, I'm not 100% sure, but those peacocks can get really big. And, and actually in the Amazon, they can get up to like 20, 22, 23 pounds. But here in, in Florida, they get, I don't know, I think an eight pound, I think eight pounds is like the biggest that, that I've ever heard of being caught down here. But a bunch of uh, two or three pounders or smaller ones, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just looking for those pretty, pretty colored fish. But anyways, let me know guys, let me know. Today's question of the day, if I catch a good enough peacock bass, should I get a replica mount? Yes or no? Put your answer down in the comments below. All right, with well, that being said, we're gonna go link up with Ryan really quick. We're gonna get this day started. If you guys haven't seen this video right here, the uh, travel and tackle box challenge. I 1 million percent highly suggest you going to watch it because it was crazy. I caught the biggest bass of my entire life ever, right? Didn't have a scale. Only way I could measure it was to put it next to my fishing pole and like put my hand over it to kind of get a girth measurement. But absolutely huge, it, it just a freaking tank. But but I'll actually link that video right up here if you guys want to check that out after, after watching this video as well. So Ryan's almost ready. It's going to be a good day, guys. It's going to be a good day. So we're down here now, and it's time to get some bait. Oh, shit. What up, bro? What's up, man? How you doing? Good to see you. Target species of the day. <laughs> we secured the bag. Nah, the bucket. The buck, or the buck, yeah. We secured yeah. the bucket. We got some, um... Oh, my God. I thought this was my truck for me. <laughs> <laughs> we got some live shrimp. That is going to be the move. And uh, now we're going to go try to get on some peacock, guys. So, uh... See you guys at the spot. All right, ladies and gents, we're here at the first spot. There should be the water's actually a lot more clear down here than I thought it was going to be. But I'm about to help Ryan hook this. Uh, like we got to put our shrimp in here and whatnot, um, and whatever else bait we got. But these are where the peacocks live. Ryan, actually, you've caught a lot of peacocks here before, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Ryan actually. Uh, so like I said earlier, his channel and Instagram are linked down below. I'm going to find a video of his where he's fishing for peacock bass down here. And uh, I'll link that as well, so you guys can check that out. Uh, because I can't guarantee anything. I think we're gonna get on them. I think so. Come on. <laughs> I think we'll get on them. Oh, we got the GoPro strapped on. Let's get to fishing. All right, guys, we gotta we gotta put the Crocs. We gotta put the Crocs in four wheel drive because we're about to go under a bridge. This is where these peacocks live, from what Ryan was telling me. I think, guys, I think we might be at the spot. So let's just find out. Yeah. Oh man, this is crazy. Right here. Nice peacock. Oh yeah, that's a beauty, dude. That is beautiful. He swam off. Did he dip? Yeah, he went like right there. So we just had one right here on a bed. Probably like a two, two and a half pounder. It was beautiful. Bright orange, bright green huge black circle on the tail such a beautiful fish and you try to wait for it to come back this is crazy literally urban miami peacock bass fishing absolutely insane look at this fish first time i've ever seen one i've never in my life don't drop him no nah. never that's a good one too dude look yeah. at this fish holy smokes dude i've never seen in person like dude a, uh, we're gonna go release them right now. Yep, we're about to go throw them back. And I'm gonna try to hook up to one I just seen right here. How sick was that? First peacock of the day, Ryan hooked up with the first one. I had one right here, but it took off. So we're kind of just waiting for it to come back or we're, we, we may be about to move, move spots. But guys, that is such a beautiful, beautiful fish, man. That, that's crazy. Guys, I gotta get on one. I gotta find one, I gotta catch one. So we're just gonna keep it moving. Try to get to the next spot really quick. No, try to get me to hook up on one. Man, this is crazy, guys. This is insane. So freaking awesome. 
there were quite a few other people at that spot so we decided to leave and now we're gonna do some we're gonna try to get some what sickles right oh, oh bro that's a big one yeah oh my god i'm over here whispering ryan's like give me the lowdown like don't don't whisper this guys they're mighty cichlids right here and they're just like bright orange they're like super pretty fish so we're gonna try to stick one so my gopro died back there like something happened with the battery but we're gonna try to catch where there's something right there get me. guys i just want to say this is monster mike spot so mike if you're watching this i put my boy yak pack tj on some big ends so let's do this but yeah i see fish already right here down at this drain so man the water's so much more clear than i thought it was going to be this is crazy Bro, this is nothing this is silted up right now Miami on a calm day. Dang. Insane, dude. It In is amazing, though, because compared to where we live... Oh, <gasps> What is the white one? That's a giant tilapia. Oh, urban canal fishing. Literally, urban canal fishing. How freaking awesome is this? <sighs> There's a dead snake right here. Oh, my God. It is. Oh, oh that's uh, probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, oh definitely, smoke. definitely shouldn't have done that. Yep, definitely shouldn't have done that. 10 out of 10, highly regret. Snake's been in the water so long, he just straight decomposed all over my pole. This is tough. Yeah, it's hot, man. It's hot, hot grinding. Hot. This, this canal looked promising, but I mean, super clear water like we want, but. I don't see no fish, None. minus those mullet and grass carp. I have a feeling if the peacock, were, what was that? Iguana. Iguana. Yeah, Iguana. Cone right there, orange cone. Yep. There's them grass carp right there. Big boys. Yeah, those are big ones. You got the bread? In the bag, yeah, but I don't want to waste too much time trying to catch them versus targeted species. Well, this has turned out to be quite the challenge in and of itself but we'll find them we, we 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 found them we just need to find them where they want to eat it's actually really windy today and ryan was telling me that like the soot and all that uh like the dirt and everything from the bottom of these canals is is, is really making this water unclear because i thought the water was going to be like a tannic stain color but it's actually you could tell where it's like really turquoise blue and clear just not today because it's so windy and but hey, it is what it is. And uh, we'll get them. We just need to find a spot. Yep. That's all it is. All right, spot number, I don't know, I lost count, but. Number three. Three. Four. Four. Yeah, actually four, here. Well, I guess we could have parked over there and not had to hop the fence, but. I'm trying to tell him, but this man is. Stopping at every yellow light, yeah. stop sign. <laughs> What's going on? All right, let's make sure there ain't no snakes on this side. <sighs> nope, we're good. You want to see how a badass jumps the fence? Oh God. I like it. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh it's the wars. Oh my god. Well, oh my god. Oh, the gator. Hold up. I'm gonna get a picture of it. There's a big gator right there. It's a big dude. Dude, this is happening. Please do it quickly. Oh my god. Oh! There it is! There it is! Got him! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Good fish. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, dude, let's go! Oh god. Oh! Oh my god, this fish is so strong, dude. Hold that up. Oh my god, dude. 
Oh my God, it's so strong. Holy smokes, dude. Let's freaking go, Ryan, dude. You, <laughs> Let's freaking go, dude. Beautiful peacock, bro. Dude, look at this. First ever peacock bass. Oh my God, dude. On a live saltwater shrimp. Oh my God, dude. I don't even I know what fight. to crazy i had dude i tightened your drag so much like I, that's why you saw me just run backwards with that him because i did that was sick that was sick. i did not want to lose this fish yeah, we're gonna get a few pictures and put them right on oh the back oh my god Congrats, bro. dude boom let's go dude let's do it. what a freaking awesome day dude my first p ever dude this is like a three pounder that's a good one that's yeah a good first one. that's a good first one dude there's two more right here so ryan's actually gonna try to hook up with these dude what a grind it's been today and it's been so worth it guys oh my goodness let's freaking go TJ, got it TJ's got him. Hey, wait, hey, fight him in front of the camera. TJ's hooked up right now on a good one. Where is he? Oh my gosh. Woo! Good fish. This one's definitely smaller than the other one. Let's go, dude, my second peacock still it's it, it's a good size like god these fish are so strong dude so strong look at this tj just got a second peacock the video wasn't too good because i was getting some sick underwater shots but i think it was dude it looks sick yeah man uh, uh, such a hard fighting fish like they, this is insane these just, fish just fight one minute largemouth bass or peacock what do you like dude, peacock it? gotta be peacock man gotta be a peacock huh crazy bro sick well i think i'm up next now we're yep. gonna go see if we can find some more Let's do it. Beautiful, beautiful fish. We're gonna go get we're gonna go ahead and release it right now. Dude, what an awesome day, bro. Woo! Bam! Slam it right now, guys. Woo! Look at this oh thing. Oh my god, here, hold my rod real quick. Hold Look at this thing. Ready? You feel yeah. me? Go. He's running the right way. I'm going to get it. Hey. Ryan's an idiot, dude. I swear. This dude's an idiot. Oh. <laughs> Bro. I am dead right now, dude. I almost had him. Bro. I am dead, bro. I felt like I was a cop. I felt like I was a cop chasing a bad guy. <laughs> dude, that was a big freaking iguana. <laughs> oh, look at the colors. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He just squirted everywhere. <laughs> he is in go ahead and put him right on back. Sick. Crazy. This is epic, guys. Epic. Wow. Wait. Wow! <laughs> hey, do me a favor. Yeah. Let's hold him in the water. We're gonna bring him. All right, guys. We're gonna get this beauty back. Look at the. I mean, he, just beautiful. Look at the colors on him. Oh my goodness, guys. Fish are beautiful. Look at this. Ryan's over here still fishing for this this other one, and I'm trying to hold this one in the water so he can get a good double picture with him. We're using dip pouches because we ran out of shrimp. Well, we didn't run out. We left our shrimp all the way over there, but dude, how awesome. Bro, oh my gosh. Ryan hooked up to a huge pee on, on, a, on a pouch of dip. <gasps> oh my gosh. Bro, you gotta get it in, get it in, get it in. Don't let him spit it. Oh my God, he jumped on the bank. Got it, got it. <laughs> on the dip pouch. Let's go. On the dip pouch, look at this thing. Oh my god. Look at that dude. God. Oh my god, we're doubled up. We're doubled up. Oh my god, dude. Insane. Oh my gosh. Oh. Alright. I wonder if I can hang on this and get some good video footage. What y'all think? It, we're doing the most right now, Ryan. Oh my god. For the footage. Look at this guy. Don't fall in. No, there's big gators here. I'm not messing with that. So basically what we're doing right here, guys, is there's a huge one on the bed right there. You guys saw one of us hook into it. <gasps> oh my God. There you go. Saw one of us hook into it earlier, but uh, these other guys that were fishing here, 
the guy in the red shirt and the white shirt, they, they hooked into it a bunch of times and it's just basically made the fish really skittish. So what we have to do is we have to just give it, you know, three, four, five minutes, and give it some time. Yeah, in about 20 feet because it's, it's super skittish, but it's it's big. It's worth it's worth the weight and it's worth the catch. So we're going to try to get... And this right here? Yep, the shrimp. The shrimp, the baby shrimp. We're going to try to get... Well, Ryan's, I should say, is going to try to get get hooked up on this one. And then we're going to head out. He's over there right now. Oh, he's right on it. He's right on it. Oh, my God. You got him. Oh, my God, bro. He's huge. He's doing a horse in Oh! oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Dude, this is an eight pound fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, don't play with that fish, dog. Get it in. I'm trying to. Look, you gotta get in the water. Get in the water. If you bring him over, dude, I'll grab him. Like, we gotta get that fish. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh I'm in the water, god. dude. I'm in the water. Oh my god. Bring him this way, I'll grab him. Oh my god. Talk about Don't let him don't let him jump. Don't let him jump. He'll spit that hook. Dude, he's out of fight. He's out of fight. Oh my god. Guys. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. No way. No way. No way! Holy cow! Yo! Dude, this could be nine pounds. This is my biggest top, dude. All right, guys, check it out. That that right there is gonna wrap the video up. You guys just saw Ryan catch his PB peacock, which I'm not good, like you guys know. I'm not good with guessing weight. Look, don't be shy, guys. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Nah, uh, they're uh, you guys will see them on my Instagram. But Ryan caught here his Woo. his biggest P, right? Could be, bro. Could be. <sighs> It was Eight, a giant. Pounder. What's on the lens? There we go. Now we're good. What a day, bro. What a day, man. What a day, dude. Glad I could. That I, uh, it was a rough start. Glad yeah. I could make it happen for you. And, man, just a dope day. And definitely follow these guys, man. These guys came in clutch. Yeah, absolutely. They helped us. They helped Ryan land that big, big peacock. So it was, it was, it was awesome. They, they, some camera work. Some good dudes. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget, go ahead and thumb punch that red subscribe button. All right, turn that notification bell on. Why do they need to turn the notification bell on? Subscribe. And yeah. Subscribe and like and comment. Like, comment, and look, they already know the deal. They know the deal. All right, thanks again for watching, guys. We'll catch y'all next time. Peace.